Hello. How's it going? Good to see you. You're seeing me. I'm not seeing you. I just, uh, I wanted to take a second to talk about a couple things. Uh, the main thing being the documentary that's coming up. Uh, you guys have probably heard me talk about it on stream or seen me talk about it in a couple of videos. Um, but it's something that's super, super important to me. And it's something that we, and I'll explain more of the we, I guess, that we've been working on for over a year now. Um, and so it's something that I really want to promote and it's something that I want to explain more of because I want as many people to see it as possible because it's something that we've put a lot of work in we put a ton of time in um, and it's something that I'm very that I'm very very proud of so I wanted to just kind of take a moment uh, and talk about the documentary that's coming out answer some questions that some people have had about said documentary so if somehow you don't know already you can go to I have to do this dot show um, and you can get tickets for the documentary. We're doing a digital premiere slash release on October 27th. And if you get tickets to that, it doesn't matter what time the actual premiere is. You can watch it up to a week later, so you don't have to worry about timing on that. Or if you're in the LA area or are willing to come to the LA area, we are going to do a one-time uh, physical premiere here in Los Angeles. There's going to be a red carpet. Um, I'll get out on stage and say a couple things, and then you'll be able to watch it in person. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. It's going to be super, super fun. So you can do that. So yeah, a lot of people have had some questions about the documentary. Uh, I haven't really explained the documentary all that much, uh, other than being like, I'm really excited. The doc is finally coming together. So I guess I'll give you guys kind of a little bit of a of a teaser of what the documentary is. As many of you know, a uh, little over a year and a half, almost two years ago at this point, that's weird, um, I went on tour over the pandemic. I wrote a show um, and I toured it across the United States and a little bit of Canada. Um, and it was a show that was very personal for me. It was like the hardest thing that I've ever made it was something very different than what I make every single day. And so with that, I also started making a documentary about the tour since the very beginning of me writing the show and doing all the meetings and figuring things out. I started, uh, I started filming myself. Um, and so I started doing just like little vlogs like this, doing little updates of like what's happening. I filmed all of the meetings. I filmed all of the rehearsals I filmed everything and then when the tour actually happened um, I we filmed the entire tour obviously so all the behind the scenes we filmed all the shows blah 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 so <coughs> so at the end there was closing in on a hundred and eighty hours of footage um, that has been condensed down to about an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> which is insane. There's a there's a lot of different movies that could have been made out of the footage that we had. And I'm using a lot of we. Who is we? Most of the time on the channel, it's just kind of me in front of the camera. Uh, and then Justin's editing and Jocelyn's helping out uh, with the pre-production of the videos or whatever. But with this, with this documentary, there were many, many people that helped make it possible. The main people being... Uh, Zach and Austin, um, who are now good buddies of mine, but they got they got hired on to film the second leg of the tour, uh, and then have taken on the the job of editing the actual documentary. They have made something like way better than I thought would be able to be made, and something something really different than what I thought as well, because I originally thought it was just going to be kind of a fun documentary about tour and like, ah, oh, the good times on tour, blah, 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 blah. But um, both of them are writers um, and they've made like a really good story out of what we've shot. It's not exactly a happy movie. <laughs> it shows a lot... It shows a lot of different sides of me that I don't usually show on camera. There's a lot of me being very vulnerable. There's a lot of like more sad parts in the movie because it shows a lot of the behind the scenes of me sort of like struggling in the creative process and me like being 
uh, uncomfortable when we did the first rehearsal. There's there's so much there that's different than what we than what I normally show on my channel. And I think that's important, and I think it's something that's really, really cool, and I think that it's something that's going to be really interesting for you guys to see. And that leads to another question that a lot of people have had, because they're like, what are we going to be seeing? If I didn't see the tour, am I going to be able to watch the documentary? Or, hey, if I saw the tour, is this going to just be the show that I already saw? Um, so to both of those questions, the answer is no. If you didn't go and see the actual tour, uh, you don't need any of that context in order to enjoy the documentary the documentary gives its own because it the documentary a lot of the first part is me creating the show so you get all of that context from in there and then on the flip side if you have seen my show if you did see the show that i toured um it's very very different from the show there's a lot of context that you you get about the show through what we filmed, but it's a completely different thing. Uh, there's actually very little actual show footage in the documentary. Um, most of it is just kind of like behind the scenes and how I created it and the struggles that came along with it and stuff like that. Did you need to see my tour before watching this documentary? No. Is the documentary going to just be footage from the tour and will somebody who have already seen the tour be bored? No, it's extremely, extremely different. But yeah, dude, I'm I'm really, really excited. I am so proud with how everything has come together. There have been so many people that have uh, that have made this thing possible. Other than Zach and Austin, like we've done multiple shoots where we've had like entire crews. We are working with um, Picture Shop, who. Uh, you probably know the company Technicolor. They're under Technicolor. They did the the color grade for the film. So it's been so cool going to the color sessions and being like, okay, this is what we shot. And then having them color it and be like, wow, this looks like a real movie. This is so cool. Um, and then we have Q Code doing the sound. Um, so there, there are so many, so many people that are working super hard on making this thing uh, as good as it can be. And I am so, so excited um, and so again, I know that it can be kind of annoying sometimes, um, me being like, hey, please come watch this thing. And I know that that can just be, I don't know when that's all you're seeing from me. Um, it can be kind of annoying, but I'm doing it because this is something that I'm really proud of. And this is something that I want to do very well. Um, and it's an event that I want to make very special. Like apart from the actual documentary, I want to make this kind of an event. I want for people who are watching it digitally, I want people to be really excited. I want you guys to be posting like your own like premiere photos of you getting dressed up at home for your own little red carpet. And I want anybody who can come to the LA premiere um, I want everybody to get dressed up. There's going to be, it's going to be such a fun event. It's at the Alex Theater in Glendale, which is a beautiful, beautiful venue. Um, and so my, my entire family is going to be there. A ton of my friends are going to be there, which I'm so, so grateful for, but we're having a whole red carpet. There's going to be like a little leading up to the, the merch table because we're just doing some posters, um, Nothing, nothing insane, but leading up to that, we're going to have like a little Crank Gameplays museum where it's going to just have like my play button and there's going to be like some different stuff that I've used in videos. We're going to take one of Spencer's ducks. If you guys know Spencer loves his ducks, we're going to like put that in a glass case. Um, but we're really trying to make it a really fun event um, and not only like show you guys this documentary, but give it a proper event to kind of celebrate it. Um, because we're really, really proud of it, um, and we're so excited to share it with you. So, please, if you can, come to the red carpet event in LA, if you're in the LA area, or if you have friends that are in the LA area, you should be like, hey, go to this thing. Um, and that's the other thing, too, you don't have to be a fan of me to enjoy this movie, I don't think. Um, I think you'll probably inherently enjoy it more if you are because you already know who I am, but it explains who I am in the thing, so new people can enjoy it as well, but it's going to be really, really fun. Um, 
I'm extremely, extremely excited. I'm trying to think of things, other questions that people have had that I haven't answered. There's an LA premiere that you can come physically. There's a digital premiere the next day. The digital premiere, you can get tickets and watch it up to a week later, so you don't have to watch it when it's premiering. You can watch it after. It's about an hour and 20 minutes long. The film is technically not rated. It has not been rated. If it were to be rated, I think technically... It would be rated R because I think th I think there are three fucks in the movie and I think PG-13 is only allowed one or maybe two. But if you saw my show slash if you watch my videos normally, it's the same kind of stuff. You know, like I'm a little bit vulgar, but as far as ratings go, they're more strict about that. But I'm, I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm extremely, extremely excited. So again, you can go to I have to do this dot show to uh to get both digital and in-person tickets there's also a poster on there if you'd like the movie poster um but yeah i i would really really love for you guys to be there especially at the la premiere and i would love some help sharing this as well if you guys can use hashtag i have to do this on twitter anything like that um i you know me and my friends made a movie like I don't I don't like to be that guy but like that's kind of really cool. <laughs> so if you guys can help share it around and help get people pumped that would be in the absolute world to me. So I'm extremely excited to uh to share it with you guys. If you haven't already there's uh I'll I'll leave in the end card down here. You can watch the trailer for it. Um but yeah. Made a movie. I'm very excited to share it with you. So, October 26th is the LA premiere. October 27th is the online digital premiere. I hope to see you there.